How's it going, I Suck Sticks fans? Dang Wakabe back at you with episode 22 of I Suck Sticks. Sorry for the little bit of the vacation last time. Hope you enjoyed that footage from Chicago. But we're back. We got a big show. Main event. We're talking a main event here. Scott Henson taking on Drew Sarian. Both guys kind of on the rise. Scott Henson stringing together some wins. And you saw Drew Sarian, he's, he's cashing in that dick in the box finally. We're going to see him taking on Psych in the next pay-per-view, Bound for Glory. Some serious title implications on the line tonight. Also... Also, oh. hey, hey, how's it, how's, how's it going? Mm -mm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Also. Okay, uh, I'm guessing you want a match with Scott. Also, that's what you're here for. Okay, okay, I, I, I hear you. Okay, so how about let's see how Scott does tonight, and then at the next pay per view, Bound for Glory, we have Zeus McFly versus Scott Henson in a regular one on one. Regular contest, 20 minute time limit, something along those lines, that sounds... Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, um... Okay, 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 I catch, I catch your drift. Things are getting a little heated between you two. I saw you guys have a bit of a brawl in my office. I don't know why you're brawling in my office. I also don't know why there's a toilet in my office, but that's besides the point. It's the best kind of office. True. Um, so, okay, I got it. Bound for Glory, next week, Scott Henson versus Zeus McFly in a fight without honor. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um, Scott Henson versus Zeus McFly in Gorilla Warfare. I'm afraid of gorillas. No, okay, that doesn't work either. Okay, I got it this time. Scott Henson versus Zeus McFly in a no dicks barred match. I like it. I'm going to go have a practice match with Niven. Okay, that sounds good. Wait a minute. Niven from Australia? You fucking heard me. No socks. Sandpaper. Oh, 
I'm Danny Macabre, your host, and this is the show where I take you on the mat and I show you how to work. This week, we've got a heel hook. Now, you might think oh, it's another submission, kind of a leg-based submission where I'm attacking the heel. Not true. Well, I mean, part of that is true. The name is actually derived because the people who popularized the moves were heels in pro wrestling. Ken Shamrock, Masakatsu Funaki. In fact, all the time you see Ken Shamrock doing heel hooks in shoot fighting matches now, it's not because he doesn't have a clue and realize that leg submissions don't really work in MMA, it's because he's trying to get his heat back. Anyways, so here I am, I got my buddy IQ Yarder, Yarder again, sorry, sorry, you're good? Messed up your name there, give me, give me a gold handshake, right? Awesome. Alright, so, we're in his guard, a couple ways you can do it, you can do an inside heel hook, you can do an outside heel hook, we're going to do an outside one, it's more effective, you see it more common. Anyway, so, what I need to do is I need to neutralize one of his legs, so I need to kind of shimmy this through here some way, either, you know, out, whatever. Sometimes the will see hooks come out of scrambles, but we're doing it from the guard. So, we're going to pin his legs nice and tightly. That's not going anywhere. And we're going to focus all of our attention, our strength, on his leg, his heel. So, my arm is going to go around. It's going to hug the outside of his heel. His toe is buried in my armpit. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to finish the hold, grabbing my own hands, locking. And at the same time, squeezing so this isn't going anywhere. And then pulling that. And there you go. The thing with the heel hook is, a lot of the times, you don't feel the pressure until it's too late. You've torn some muscles in there. It's kind of a nasty hold. But regardless, I feel it's my duty to you, the I Suck Sticks Multiverse, to show you how these things are done. So once again, heel hook in regular motion. You ready? Let's do this again. So his legs, nice and pinned in there with mine. I'm going to hug the outside of his heel, I'm going to grab a hold of myself, and here we go, we're applying pressure, and, 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 so now he's feeling cold, probably he's on some damage, not quite sure yet what it is, but he's not going anywhere, you don't have to worry about him. And that's how you dislocate someone's ACL. Why can't we move somewhere warm, like Here, Kyrgyzstan? Here's the thing, on the schedule that we're currently doing, this is not going to air until next July. So... <laughs> oh, it's so warm out today, I feel so sweaty in my workout top. Alright. Whoa. Whoa, a little early for wrestling moves.
one, two. Oh, oh. No. oh. Took too long. Well, I suck sticks multiverse. It's me, Drew Sarian. Now look, I want to apologize to you guys because I know you have to look at this thing. It's November. It's it's a thing. I apologize to you. My dad's a full-on ginger. I, it's a burden I've had to live with my entire life. All right, I, I, I'm sorry. On a completely different note, this is the last show before the next pay-per-view. Uh, Bound for Glory. Where, as you may have found out from the last show, I've decided that I'm going to cash in my dick in a box and challenge Psych for that title. But you know what's like, last show before the pay-per-view. I'm here, I got a match, but you're not booked. So of course that means you don't have to show up. You know, I'm here every week. I'm training hard. I'm, I want that gold. I'm here regardless if there's a show or not. I can't even get in the building, but I was here. I'm here every day of the week. I guess what I'm trying to say, Psych, is that I have the heart of a champion. I mean, yeah, you've had some defenses, you defend your title, but you're not here when you don't defend it. I'm here when I, whether I'm booked or not. And I can't be, I mean, you know what, I, I, you're gonna see this show and you're gonna say, you know, you, you, know, you lost to Scott Henson. You know what, I need, to, I need to forget about that. That's not important because I already have a guaranteed title shot. And it's like, you know, I've put my dick literally in a box. It's time for me to put my dick in a proverbial box and I'm gonna take your title. I don't know if you just saw, but I just beat Drew Sarian clean as a sheet in the middle of the ring. I just beat the number one contender. I am on a roll. And Drew Sarian, you want to complain that your dad's a ginger? My mom's a different fucking species. What do you think about that? And Zeus McFly, you want a no dicks barred match at the pay-per-view, Bound for Glory, next show? I'll have you know, sir, I am undefeated in death matches. Granted, my last death match was in 2004 against a guy named Juggalo, but the stats don't lie. And you know what, Zeus McFly? Just like the assistant coach at Penn State, I'm going to pin you down for at least three seconds and not let you get up. I'm going to beat you again. I beat you in regular matches. I'm going to beat you in no dicks barred. Go Nittany Lions. <laughs>